straight. I'm sorry then, Major, I just hear you right. I'm sorry, my ears must be deceiving, because if not, then I am really in sure offence of what you're saying, as it beggars my believing, and I'm praying that I just misheard, and that seeing me and my partner holding hands, you did not just use that word. I realise you were probably joking, and I should take it in good humour, not get too upset, show some hesitation before I get on my high horse, as if I, I've heard rumoured that such elevation can cause resentment in those to finally bearing their minds in the dirt, as it's the only way they can find contentment. So calling them on it can cause hurt feelings, as under thick skins they're concealing real nerves, which I often forget. But I wake up here at this height on my horse, and it takes real nerve to say I have no right to question jokes that cast disparagement on the sight of two blokes. So let me make myself quite clear, and thus your fears are there. I am most probably not gay, but I do define as queer. Although, on that word's history, I'm not quite sold. But we're reclaiming it, I'm told. So I've ceased my protestations, and I'm embracing a life defined as undefined. As lives go, it's, well, bracing, and difficult to fill in the forms where your answers don't quite fit the norms, and there's no box for queer, gender. So when asked for sex, I just say, yes, please, and get most forms returned to sender. So, if I can just stop you before you yell, I know I don't always deal with it well, but people don't always make it better with half-baked comments and declarations, words in the pub and Daily Mail's letters, of how it's quite all right to swing that way, as long as you don't parent children, <laughs> or run for government office, or join the army or the priesthood, unless you're costed, then it's all good. And I'm sure you didn't mean it pejoratively. If you're involved in gay rights, can say authoritatively, as a straight ally, that we should be able to adopt and marry, then I praise your magnanimity. And maybe I can't really blame you, acting the way you do. It's likely the fault of society. Years of homophobia weighing down on our backs, so that it's all pervading even to our syntax. Some of it seeping through the cracks, but now that I point it out, please, please don't just shout about how I'm wrong and you're okay. Anyway, some of your best friends are gay, and I have no right to tell you what to say, what jokes you can and can't make, what liberties you should or shouldn't take. But allow yourself a moment's doubt. Let your skin get thin, but keep your heart stout. And take a good long look at how you act. Your choice of words, your use of tact, and one if many phobias crept in. Turn your wit upon yourself, and we'll discuss the results if it will help. But please note, when the bus is late, I don't moan and go, oh, that's so straight. Nor if I see you wearing a nicely dressed suit, will I say, like, dude, that's totally cisgendered. And yet, if I wear a skirt, I do get called a vendor, happens. I promise you will never be in danger of seeing you and she hand in hand, sweet as any couple can be, me muttering a hateful yes, bro. Just as the playground, kids should know that calling another child gay is an insult is a no-go. So grow up, because that's all it is, a witty homosexual innuendo. Childish towards playing at being grown up, sophisticated, latent homophobia reaching a crescendo, a bullying child pretending he's domesticated, civilized. And I know you think you're helping that by using words steeped in histories of abusing, you're somehow diffusing them. Hiding behind a veneer of irony, armoured in self-aware self-mockery, and so cocksure that someone who's as smart as you with your massive frontal lobe could never be a homophobe. <laughs> and I didn't say that you were, but using the word gay as you did there is still homophobic. And please don't call me a cunt, cop, prick, pussy, or dick, because Cock and pussy are things I love, so please don't use them as a verbal shove. And can I say before you start, I agree with you, you're really smart, and that's why it breaks my bleeding lefty heart that you don't see how the words that you use might hurt people's feelings with their implied and engendered meanings. And if you want me to stop my self-righteous criticism, all you have to do is cease the homophobic witticism. Thanks.